Hi everyone. Today we'll take a look at troubleshooting a couple of uh, PLC examples. Um, I have two up here and what you'll notice is I have some set and resets on an output. That's Y8. So my first rung here will reset it and my next three rungs based on three different conditions will set it. That'd be X8, 9, and 10. And a common uh, item in the PLC when you're troubleshooting is to figure out what triggers um, the inputs and outputs and it really boils down to the scan. So if I'm, I'm currently running this and if I look at my simulator you'll notice that if I hit 8 on the output comes on 9, 10, or 11 and the 11 is the reset but you'll notice that until I deselect all the reset will not work. And that is because of the, the position that the reset is in, in the PLC. So again, if I hit 8, 10, and then hit reset, it doesn't reset. So in order to correct it, or if I wanted to change that logic and say, um, as soon as the trigger is happened, it, the output will change, then we need to create all of these inputs as one-shots. And to do that, um, we just use a one-shot uh, uh, on the leading edge of the input. So let's uh, make that change and we'll do that to, to each one of them including the reset. Um, and when we do that and run the program we will have a different um, aspect. So now they're all on leading edge. I'm just going to accept that to the PLC okay and now our PLC program will work totally different than it did before so again that's my reset but then I can set it and it won't reset until I set it trigger it again so it really depends on how I want it to operate now the next example we have a series of moves and once again, the, the first X0 will move the value 4000, X1 will move value 2000, and X2 will move the value 0, resets that, that output. So looking at the simulator again, okay, 0 will add a value of 4095. Okay, if I turn that off, 1 will add a value of 2048, and X2 adds a value of 0. However, if the X2 is still on and X1 or X2 is operated, you'll notice that nothing changes. Once again, we have this racing condition in which X2 is on and the PLC scans left to right, top to bottom. So because of that, these outputs uh, don't get set until the end of the scan. And the end of the scan is always the last one in, which would be the value of zero. So in order to correct this, we could also um, put the trigger or the one shot on each one of these. And when we do that, you'll, you'll find that again, the program will change and it will look for that leading edge before it triggers. And when it does, then the program will fire in the output. So again, if we look at this and we say um, X1, we have 4096, X2, 2048, or X1, 2048, and X2 is zero. If I go back and retry it, try it figure, trigger the first one and keep the other two on, it's still gonna be 4095 because again, it goes by the leading edge only. So this is just a couple of uh, um, quick examples and this is what uh, we term as a racing condition. Thanks for watching.